Hi everyone. So the package we decided to demonstrate for you all today is Network D3. Network D3 is used to create network graphs from our source code. This package lets users visually see how objects, or nodes, are interconnected with each other by edges. This simple relationship between nodes and edges allows us to visualize networks. For example, we can use Network D3 to visually see the people in a class that are friends with each other. The nodes of the graph would be each student's name, and the edges that connect the nodes would be the lines between them. After installing the package, users can create and tweak their graphs as well as export them to the clipboard and various other file types. There are four different types of network graphs, forced, sankey, radial, and dendro. For time's sake, we'll be demonstrating the two types of forced graph. Let's start off with the simplest graph, which is appropriately named the simple network graph. Let's begin by creating two datasets, SRC and target. After merging them into one data frame, we can call the simple network command to help us graph how all the elements of the data frame relate to each other. What's really cool is that the user can actually interact and drag an individual element to see more clearly these relationships. Moving on, the second type of network is called a forced network. This graph visualizes more complex relationships between nodes. Forced network graphs can accept more arguments and allow more customizations than the simple network. In order to demonstrate a forced network, we decided to use a Network D3 preloaded dataset about Victor Hugo's 1862 novel, Les Miserables. The missed links and missed nodes data frames are based on character appearance in Hugo's novel and was compiled by Donald Newth. The missed nodes data frame are all the characters in Les Miserables and convey more information than the source data frame on the simple network. Each node belongs to a group which you will be able to see visually once the network is plotted. The mislinks dataset contains three columns, source, target, and value, and are the edges that connect the nodes. The source column corresponds to the characters in the book, the target column corresponds to how far apart the two connected nodes are respectively, and the value column are the character IDs you wish to connect to in relation to the source. If you look at the help command for a force network, you will see that there are numerous other arguments to customize the graph. For example, you can have each node be named after the character's names, you can change the font size, and change the overall size of the graph in pixels. Plotting a force network is very similar to plotting a simple network, but it just takes more arguments and keeps the SRC and target data frames separate. So here, we would need to tell R that our links will be mislinks and our nodes will be in misnodes. Also in the misnodes data frame, we would have to tell it our source, target, and value columns, which R will interpret each value in its X, Y, and Z coordinate system, respectively. After running this code, notice that it is very similar to the simple network in that you can tweak everything to see each individual element more clearly. Notice, a linear path exists that traverses through a handful of nodes or characters that will allow you to see all the other characters in the novel. This allows you to very quickly see what characters are the most influential and important in the novel without actually having to read it. This can be applied to social networks as well, allowing you to quickly see the most influential people within a social network. Once identified, if you were to market to those individuals, that advertisement would likely propagate through the entire social network due to the fact that this subset of people connects to every other person within the network. With the increased use of social media and the realization of the power that data analytics wields, this package may be useful for visually understanding how objects, or nodes, are related and connected along edges. For how to create the other types of network graphs, please visit Christopher Grand Rudd's GitHub page, which helped us illustrate the simple network. All further Network D3 documentation and further information can be found at the website linked in the description.